Lucas, what's the excitement level like within this team as we approach the season? It's awesome. I mean, with the new staff coming in uh, last season, I mean, I don't think this team's seen anything like it since I've been here, which has been a while. This might be my fifth year. I think everyone's just really excited to finally get a game in against someone other than ourselves. We're, we're, I think we're kind of tired of playing ourselves after a long summer. What are some of the strengths you feel like? I think we're deep. I mean, we got a lot of guys. Uh, our freshmen, I think, came in. And at times, I don't think they act like freshmen. I think they come in and they're hungry and they're tough. I think that's a big thing. They're really tough, tough guys. Which, as freshmen, a lot of times I can come in and be a little timid. I think that's not the case with these guys. You know, a lot of pundits are picking you guys to finish last in Conference USA. Do you like the fact that not much is expected out of you? Yeah, I mean, being here five years, every year comes out with a ranking. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I don't think I've ever in my five years looked up a ranking, so I don't really pay too much attention to it. I know when we were in the WAC and beat Louisiana Tech mm -hmm. in that upset game, we were ranked pretty low, and mm -hmm. we came and in Vegas that year, we, we made noise. So I don't really I don't really show too much attention to the rankings. What's the uh, effort been like so far in practice on the defensive end? Coach says that's an emphasis. Have you seen that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just if you've been around our practice, I think our intensity level's great. I think in the three-hour practice, we don't have too many let-ups where uh, you can see that we're just beat. And I think that's the thing that through conditioning with our weight coaches, I think this is a year where we're just in shape. I think we're really ready for the first game. More bloody noses this year at practice than maybe there had been in the past. Yeah, maybe. I got a, I got a nice little <laughs> shiner over here from last week. I think guys are guys are working hard, being tough. What's Any the idea about what uh, coach's personality has been like after you've been around him for a little while? You know what? I, coming in, we were really – Intrigued because mm -hmm. I'll tell you the first the first practice we had it was at 7 a.m. and most of our guys aren't, aren't morning people <laughs> so that was something so we had a 7 a.m. practice the first day he got here and we were just like worried because he was just he said he told us hey if you if you don't want to come in just hit your snooze button and come on come on in later and that's fine and then he said well if you don't come we'll just help you find a new place to go and I, honestly he's a, you can tell he cares about us. Um, I think the entire coaching staff just really genuinely cares about us as people and, and wants us to grow. I think that's a big thing. I remember Coach Thompson, one of the assistants, said, if we haven't affected your character in a way by the time you leave here, we failed. And I think that's really big just on our staff in general. You know, this has been a tough six months or so for you guys, losing Brooks, having a new coach coming in. You, you guys have been through a lot. Just describe what, what, what it's been like and, and maybe is a relief for basketball finally to start. Yeah, here. yeah. I mean, us returns, it's been rough for, it's been different for each one of us because obviously me being here the longest, I had the, the longest relationship with the coaching staff and with Coach Thompson. So there was times during this, during this summer where it was just rough. I mean, you, you kind of forget, you, you didn't really think that Coach Thompson passed. Like it seemed like it wasn't real and then it all hit you all at once, which was rough. And it was, it was a weird dynamic because we had four freshmen who had no idea who he was, which was hard because they couldn't really understand what he was to us, which kind of made it kind of a weird situation. Mm -hmm. But I think overall, I think it just made us mature. I think it made, it made us see how valuable life is and about how much you have to cherish everything that you have. You know, also, too, it would seem like Steve's character would make that transition easy with the Sunday night stuff and yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. trying to do things off the court to get yeah. you guys to bond. Has that, has that helped out? Yeah, I mean, especially when, when we were told that Coach Thompson passed, they were very consider it just asking mm -hmm. what can we do just anything that we can do tell us what we need to do because even him coming in everyone talks about how hard it was for us mm -hmm. with him passing I'm sure it was an incredible feat for him to come in here as a new coach already a new head coach and then have to deal with a situation like that mm -hmm. to have to try to mend the emotions of his players I know he did a great job mm -hmm. so Lucas you're uh, getting married what's yeah. the uh Wedding planning been like for it's you? It's been crazy. I, you know, my favorite part of it went on last night. We uh, we did cake tasting, so that's always a good <laughs> thing. You, you're not going to hide me from any cake, so that was fun. I mean, it's just been awesome. I, I got engaged to my fiance last spring break after the season ended, and she was a past volleyball player here, so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I was talking to Coach Henson about it when 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 he heard that I was getting engaged. He got married in college. See, I decided to do it after college. <laughs> I decided to get married right after school was over. So. Um, it's just been fun. It's it's kind of helping me kind of realize how to balance life and basketball and school and relationships, and it's just kind of helped help me grow for sure. Your fiance's name is Kylie Shot. She was a she was okay. a four year at volleyball. She was 
she was a stud, so <laughs> got showing me up every once in a while, showing so me her, her, her uh, conference rings. So I guess there will be some size in the Yeah, that, I mean, I bring it up every time. Like, this is a retirement plan for me. Once we start having kids, I mean, I'm 6'10", she's 6'1". So if we, if we don't have giants, there's a problem there. I don't, know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. So tell me what uh, what kind of cake has been decided? What was your favorite? And, and what is the groom's cake? You know what? Like? I, I'm like a basic vanilla. Mm -hmm. just, but then I'm told I get my own cake, mm -hmm. and it's a group's cake, and it has to be chocolate. And I'm like, I don't like chocolate, so why can't I just have a, a white cake? But it, you know what? I think we, we compromised on a red velvet for my cake, so it's been a lot of fun. I didn't, I had no idea that you could even have a group's cake, so I get to make it like into a basketball with a UTSA logo mm -hmm. on there, so it, it's going to be a lot of fun. When are you guys getting married? May, May, May 26th, 2017. So I guess not only cakes, you got to worry about where it's going to be. Oh, yeah, we already have, and yeah, you know, once, once we got engaged, we were planning like crazy. We got the venue, the DJ, all that stuff set up. I mean, both of us... <laughs> Both of us were pretty studious in, in our undergrad. She's she's doing her uh, student teaching to become a history teacher now. Mm -hmm. So we we organized pretty well. We got a a budget set up because I'm the finance guy. So we we got it all figured out. <laughs> Where is she being a student teacher now? She's at John Jay High School. Okay. She's she's a student teaching there. She absolutely loves it. She she was a smarter one out of us two in college, but she gets to go back to school now, which I kind of make fun of her mm -hmm. about.